it literally takes an army to try and source and find the food that we need here to share food with you guys and our family and friends to cook for everybody. Um, and myself, my husband, my friend Michelle, my sister Maria, our friend Steve, like so many people are out trying to source things at different times. Most of it comes through the mail and what Maria can find at the local grocery store, she leaves in Rachel Ray bags and thermal bags on the back porch. And we in turn uh, try and pay them back with some of the food that we're cooking here and we mark everybody's boxes and line them up for them so they can pick them up at a safe distance every and day. And I leave your sister a bunch of Bloody Marys Anyway, we thought, um, I don't know if I'd call it fun, but we thought we'd share with you part of our daily process, which sometimes drives either one of us or both of us ah, bonkers. Uh, but it's, it's a couple hours of every day. We're actually showing you a very light day. This was an easy one for us, but here it is. Okay, so here's our process, guys. This is our back kitchen door. And this bench over here. I got jazz hands. <laughs> this garden workbench has kind of become uh, a staging very important area. A very important workstation, our staging area. So um, FedEx, UPS, the guys know, leave our boxes here. All of the food that I make, the leftovers I put here, we feed a variety of our friends and neighbors, my mom and my sister and people make their pickups from here. Today, the pickups are lemon spaghetti with spinach and manest, beans and greens. John has his cleaning supplies in our garage, which is behind John. And then, uh, for instance, today, my sister, because we had car problems, she went to the market and brought these bags. So now John puts on his garden gloves, his big work gloves. Those aren't garden gloves, those are like snow gloves. Anyway, he puts on his big thick gloves and the first part of the process is just opening the bag and assessing what's in it and he uses the gloves to open the outside of boxes or in this case the Rachel Ray bags <laughs> okay then the stuff inside the bags that's packaged John show him one and hand it off okay so well, here's um, we were lucky enough to find eggs Maria found those eggs. Thanks, Ray. Thanks, Ray. So, because I'm completely hypochondriacal, I wipe down the package before it goes in our house. And then I am the handoff person. So she's Some got clean hands, so I hand it to her. And sometimes he actually throws stuff at my head. If it's a big box of stuff. All right, hon, you bring, bring, yeah, and bring some of the produce in and we can show them the produce part. Okay. Okay, so inside I have filled the sink. It's hard to tell, but the sink has uh, cold water in it. John drops everything into the bath. All right, so we have the vegetables that are going to be washed, a sink for them. We have the vegetables that need to be blanched. Today we have some peas. We have ice to cold shock the peas, and we have water coming up to a boil to blanch our vegetables, whatever they may be for that day. So here's our packaged vegetable station. So green beans, broccoli, asparagus, peas, that would be this world. And what am I doing right now? And here's our veggies to soak station and fruits, obviously. And John disinfecting his hands after breaking down the vehicles. 